the first big topic is this. Is Scotty Pippen Jr. going to be able to be the backup point guard? I'm sold. Like, I have wondered aloud Mm -hmm. many times, are they going to have to do something about having a backup point guard? Because people could say, ah, well, Bain could be on the ball, and oh, well, Marcus Smart obviously can be on the ball, right? And I get it. They can. But it's also goofy to have your starting small forward be your backup point guard. Mm -hmm. And you never know who's going to be going down. And having three point guards is a worthwhile proposition. I know they have Derrick Rose, but you're having to wonder how much are you going to be getting from Derrick Rose. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be starting Derrick Rose if John Morant's out for 12 games. Scotty Pippen Jr., let me say a couple things. A has been an ama- not good, amazing defender yes. throughout this uh, summer the Coach summer March leagues. said best at Summer League. The second thing is this. He, one of the things when he was at Vandy, not only was he dinged for his defense, he also was a guy that felt like he was always going 100 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. He does the pace thing as a point guard now that you see from the really good ones. Like, he does a lot of slowing down, speeding up, getting to a spot, kick out, getting, you know. He has developed into, there are so many times that you have a preconceived notion or you have a former opinion about somebody, and then that is just what your opinion is. But I'm watching him, and I'm like, if I had no opinion of him, and I was just watching this summer league, I would think they found a gem. Mm -hmm. I really would. Like, there were certainly moments throughout the season, not the least of which was against the aforementioned Miami Heat in that game, where there were times throughout the season, I'm like, hold on now, this guy's a player. Yeah. And then there were times where I was like, eh, I don't know if he's the kind of guy, like, this team is supposed to be They fancy themselves as somebody that's going to be able to compete for the Western Conference. And there's no reason to believe they won't be able to compete for that, given that the last two times they have been healthy with the three core guys. And even though those guys were injured throughout that year, they've been two seeds, Mm -hmm. two years in a row. Um, And so as a team that fancies themselves being able to compete in the Western Conference, is Scottie Pippen Jr., is that a good enough backup point guard, right? And... Like, I keep waiting to try to poke holes in it and say, like, ah, you know what? Like, he's on a two-way right now. And so I I think you're going to have to make a decision whether to roster him or not. He's making it hard right now for you to not think about that. He's not going – I mean – I really do. I think you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to roster him or they not. They have to do because, some maneuvering for that. Huh? They have to do some maneuvering for that. And mm-hmm. then what? Open up that two-way spot and sign somebody else to a two-way? Well, yeah. What I'm saying is, like, you can't have your backup point guard be a two-way. No. No, you can't. You don't have enough games. Yeah. He's playing himself right, right now into I mean, a roster spot. The summer league is used for. He is too good for your for the, for the games you call. Yes. He would be awesome. In the G awesome. League. He would be awesome. Oh, he's awesome in this. Yes. 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 You're watching him? No, the defense is There's real. no question the two best players on the floor last night were him and Gigi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The change of pace that he does to just the – it reminds me of, like, Hubie Brown. Like, Hubie Brown did this when he took over for the Grizzlies. He was like – Everybody in the NBA just does this. We just let you inbound the ball, and we let you just bring the ball up the court. Why do we do that? We're going to put pressure on the ball, yep. and we're just going to start guarding you 94 feet. We're going to make you turn, make you turn, make you turn. Yeah, and, and look, you turn your back to this kid, it's over. Yeah. He's got you. Yep. I mean, no, the, the, yeah, I, I know he got credit for, like, what, five or six deals in that last game we were at on Monday. Oh, he was mad about it. Did he you had see, more. Did you see my interview with him? No. He, he was like, I had way more than five. I'm he like, did. I'm like, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, we were in the second quarter, and uh, Chuck Cooperstein, who is the longtime radio voice for the Dallas Mavericks. Amazing broadcast voice, by Amazing. The way. Yeah. He was sitting next to me, mm-hmm. and he was like the, he's like, he's like, the kid's got like six steals already. And I was in the second quarter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, he is menacing. I mean, like. 
And that's a guy that does not know anything about Scottie Pippen. Yeah. But, I mean, he's just... He's making their life a living hell. He was wrecking... Guys like that, if you really can pressure the ball like that, and obviously, look, it's a different world when you're pressuring De'Aaron Fox and Shea Gilgis Alexander and the rest of those, right? You're going up in many cases in this, in, in Summer League, against guys that are not exactly going to be starting point guards on the NBA level. But guess what? When you're the backup, you log a lot of minutes against the backups. Yeah, you do. And amongst the backups, you can, guys like that, can wreck your offense. It just doesn't let you get into what you're trying to get into. You're picking up 94 feet from the basket every possession. That's right. Good luck. That's right. And the other thing is, he doesn't get turned around over and over again, right? They don't make him turn his back over and over again. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think he's been pretty damn good. I watched him last night, and I'm like... So it's yeah, like I mean, third. Yeah, what do you want to ding him on? Because the guy's making shots and he's defended like a demon. And nine assists. Yes. Like yeah. he's actually being a true point guard on top of all of that. Right.